What's up, guys, and welcome to episode 100 of Dropouts. We did it. We did it. Yeah. We're done. We're finished. Wait, we made what? it to the end. Welcome we are out. Welcome to Dropouts, bitches. Oh, man. I can't believe we made it to uh, a Do you see why I said bitches? Because oh, you because said in you the first one. You said, said it in the, the first, first one. one. Um, What's up, B-Words? Welcome we're back to Dropouts. We're finally done. We're not done, Zach. I thought, I thought 100 and then we're out, Jared. No. What, why why that, would that okay, be the what's case? A, what's after this? I thought, okay, we got the balloon. What are the we balloons have, for? Because we're celebrating. It's a big milestone. It's just a number. Why is, why is 100 more important than 101 or 99? Well, we have one. Your number discriminating. We have 104 coming up. What does that mean? That's our two year. That's our you actual. Tell me we got to go get a four now? Oh, 104, 104 is our two year anniversary. Oh, yeah, this is the worst. Jeez. Dude, I thought we'd be done. I was like, okay, we'll get to 100. I never have to see these people again. We're good. Okay, so how many more do we have? Forever. What do you mean? We're going to keep going. Whoa. We're I'd doing this until the day we die. Okay, that can be tomorrow. I can arrange yeah, that. It, <laughs> uh, please don't. How about you hit some intro music before I... When we started this, we didn't even have intro music no, the first we time we recorded. I remember saying, um, I was just listening to it a little bit, the first episode. And I remember being like, cue the cool intro music that we will eventually have. Um, I wrote a little something to the viewers um, from all three of us. I kind of wanted to... You know, be a little sentimental for a second. A lot of times I throw these jokes around because of my past trauma and um, a lot of you see straight through it cuts like a warm knife through butter. But um, this, this means a lot. We've been through a hundred episodes. Oh my, oh my, how far we've come. We did it all for money and we don't care about any <laughs> oh of you guys God. at all. What? You said come for the heart, Jared. That, that's what's in your heart? That's what's in our hearts. It was a collective agreement. I saw the way, 100%. so we come here, we say, I remember you told me specifically, I don't care about the viewers. If honestly, no, you told me this. You when said, did I ever say that? Oh, just listen up. You, Indy was here. You said, if Thanos was here, snapped his fingers <laughs> and half of our listeners died, you would celebrate with balloons. <laughs> and then you, it's a little awkward right now. It is a little Jeez. awkward right now. Well, that never happened. Why, why do you hate everyone that listens to us? I don't hate everyone that listens to us. I love everyone that listens to us. I can't thank them enough. Thank them. Thank them. Thank you. Oh, yeah. That was genuine, wasn't it? Okay. Guess what, guys? We've been here a hundred times. If you expected some big spectacle, we put this together in 30 seconds. And that's how you know we care about you because that's our brand. We didn't go yeah. off brand, did we, Indy? No, we didn't. Did we try and think of things? Yeah, we did. And then it- I thought of stuff. I also thought of stuff. I thought of really cool stuff. Exactly. We both did, I Jared. I bought a dog. Okay. And that's all That's all you need. Yeah, Should we? Sweet. Yeah, let's get straight into it. We don't, no, this isn't a podcast where we're going to linger. We got to get into the hot and heavy stuff right off the bat. Come on, Jared, bring the heat. Bring it. Should we start from where it all began? Ew, do I look the same? How? Whoa, I'm wearing the same thing I was wearing then. Same. Whoa. I think whoa, Indy, you're wearing the same oh, shirt as well. I swear I am. It's just my ginormous fat dog is covered. Oh, here. first of all. Hey, don't body shame him. He yeah. is fat. He's on the Zila plan. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Are we ready? Welcome this to Dropouts, bitches. Well, you don't get to wait, say wait, 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 wait. Welcome <laughs> to Dropouts. I get to say Welcome Why to Dropouts. Why do you get to say it? Pause, hey. pause, pause. We need, to, no, need, we need to come to an agreement on who does the intro. Let's say it at the same time. But what are we saying? Welcome to Dropouts. One, two, three. Welcome, Welcome to, to Dropouts, dropouts. but more from me, the no, best no, podcast no, 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 in the world. No, 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 If this is the first intro, we need to set the groundwork for what the intro is. You can't just like say whatever. Think, well, we'll have an intro song. Roll the intro song. That's the what reason we should we have rolled it, the like, intro song. I dropped out of college and Indiana dropped out of high school. Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. I have Pause. my GHD. Did you finish high school? Yes. I've graduated. Yeah. I have my GHD. There it is. Well, you're what? <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's not <laughs> GED? It's GHD, huh? It was not a joke. Oh, it was a joke. Okay. <laughs> oh. Definitely not backtracking on the joke. Sick. That, it was not a joke. I, we, we both knew yeah, that. We of course we... <laughs> you just had a spasm. And my favorite thing about you is you you said, you know what, Zach? I want to further my education and I'm going back to high school to finish. And then how have you been doing on that? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's not talk about that. Why, and why, why is that? I've grown as an individual from the last, from in the last 100 episodes. I think I'm a 360 different human being. So That's the same human being. Holy hell. She's back with the GHD. Oh, um, <laughs> dude. oh my gosh. It's okay. Okay. You know what? I'm going to tell you. So as of now, in 100 episodes, <laughs> we have garnered 136,653 subscribers, right? We're just gloating at this point. No. You hear that, guys? We're I, better than you. I think Is that, that what you're saying, oh, I thought we hit 200. Way oh, to man. undermine. She's just, she's just disappointed now. She's like, yeah. I thought we were doing way better. <laughs> way to undermine what I was going to say. 
Okay, a hundred. I was <laughs> very impressed with one hundred thirty-six thousand. Well, Indy's not so. And I don't think we can really grasp. Like we see a bunch of numbers. Like both of you have millions on TikTok and you know Instagram and stuff like that. Why are we just jacking each other off here? Well, because I I don't think we we get so accustomed to these numbers that I don't think we can really. We should lie about it. Like no, why don't we just be like, thank you for a million subscribers. Who cares? That we can really picture what that number looks like. Um, so we have 136,000 on this podcast, uh, but this is what a hundred thousand people look like. This and is, that let, lets that lets me know we're better than everyone listening, right? This is is that what you're going for? This is uh, Michigan's football stadium. It holds about a little over a hundred thousand people. So sorry, it's not two hundred thousand in but that many people and more are subscribed to our podcast that have like listened to us. So what what's wrong with those people? So Nothing. that's a group of people. There's something wrong. Cause why would you subscribe to this? Because I've said we're funny. Day, uh, no, 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 no. I've said it since day one. We are, I'm, I'm going to go C minus level podcast. No. I think, I think we're like a B, B plus. Minus. Oh, I'm not on the same wavelength, <laughs> but I just thought that was cool to like actually visualize really cool. what a hundred plus thousand people look like. Like, Right, we we have a stadium full of people. Okay, so now do we, do we say do we are we like suck it to them after like are we no, gloating just, or in, oh okay so we're, I just thought that was we're cool. recognized. No, it is cool. I just think we should gloat a little bit more. Okay, we've fine. got all the gold stuff here. Here, Jared, be honorary for a second. Just go ahead. How do I you be just, honorary? No, just just suck it. Okay. We're better than you. But who? Be specific. The viewers. Don't say minorities, Listeners. Jared. That's racist. I didn't say that. Well, your don't, skin tone said that. Don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> no, your skin tone already put <laughs> words in anyway, my mouth. Anyway, I've come up with more fun facts about that, right? So it's cool to visualize it. Uh, right now, uh, at the record time of recording this, we have about 11.7 uh, .7 million total views. Okay? That's a lot. I We're over 10 million views. Um, so... If those views, if they were uh, individual people, not like repeat views or whatever, um, that is the entire population of six of the top 10 U.S. cities. So, yeah, minus. Well, say suck it again then. Suck, suck it. it. There we go, guys. Minus, anytime he says something cool, we all say suck it in unison. Minus New York, L.A., Wait. and Chicago. That's the, the last, the, the six of the top 10 cities have seen our podcast. Suck it. Come on. Suck it, <laughs> now, this is a weird conversion, but if each view uh, was a mile, right? Covered a mile or whatever. I feel uh, like I'm, would, do, I'm in like third grade math class. Okay. If you got four apples and your uncle doesn't come <laughs> back, how many, <laughs> your uncle, your dad doesn't come anyway. <laughs> uh, if each view was a mile, uh, it would cover the entire continent of Africa. Whoa. Inclusive. Suck it. <laughs> and then if we had a dollar for <laughs> how many calculations did you do, well, man? I just wanted it to be fun. If I just we, like he's in his room with all the pins. He's like, oh, you guys don't even know the math that I've done. <laughs> we constantly talk about getting like like a house, like a dropouts house or something. If we had a dollar for every view that we had, we'd probably have the same money that was stolen from us. We could, we could get this house in Beverly Hills. I, I'll include pictures. I just thought it was beautiful. Wow. How Isn't do we? It's nice. It's got a full tennis it's court, a pool, a full tennis court. Yeah, That's a gorgeous house. in the backyard. I'd do anything for that. So out of a hundred episodes, well, actually, so we're recording this early because Zach, uh, we're we're traveling to get in, Zach's uh, surgery. Two, in two days. I have knee surgery, very invasive. Um, I may never come back from the anesthesia. It's really a fifty fifty these days. It's not a fifty fifty that you're gonna die out because I'm very I'm I'm going with him. So is Mr. Handsome. He's thrilled about it. Um, <laughs> I'm so nervous of that happening, and like he's I'm, not gonna die. And if I anesthesia. if I do, I've lived a great life. We made it to episode 100. That's all I was looking for anyway. I was gonna end it after this anyway, but oh, now that I realize we have to go on, I'm gonna keep living because this is the only thing I was living for. Okay, fun so, fact, fun thing. If I died, what would you guys want from me? Like some of my possessions. I want your truck. Okay, you what? got the truck. You get one thing. You have a nice car already. That's true. Indie pick. You can't take memories. <laughs> His computer. Yeah, oh, damn. Yeah, Jared, that's a good computer. See, but here's the thing. I'll sell your truck. I can get the car that I actually want, take the leftover money, get myself a new computer. Oh, I just wanted the computer because of the Suck memories it. on the There we go. Oh, she tried to go wholesome with yeah, it. Yeah, I did. We're I being you. vain this podcast. Okay, yeah, um, this is all about us. All of your Alexa things? No, whatever. I'm not <laughs> killing myself anymore. Okay, so, but we're actually recording this the day after episode 98 came out. Um, so in 98 episodes, we have roughly 5,000 825 minutes of podcast out 
Okay. Sucker. That's about 97.08 hours or just over four days of straight content that you can play. It's a lot, right? And we filmed more than that. Could we live stream us have sitting down on a couch and we can't leave until we finish all of them? I think I would. That would be so. That's like early Mr. Beast level stuff. Okay. Well, we're late to the game with everything. <laughs> I think I would. I, we're, I mean, we're late to uh, doing a good podcast. I mean, Indy's would, late to her period. We're all late to things. <laughs> I look back at some of the older episodes and. It's rough. So rough. Don't worry. I have clips. No. <laughs> Wait, it's rough to for what? Through. To look back at some of my old episodes. No, you're great. So we have four days of straight of content, right? If Amen. you give us any more calculations, I'm going to off you. These are cool calculations. Well, Hold are on. They? This is, these are the really cool calc okay. Oh, we're calculations. getting to the really cool oh, ones? We're, we're the climbing cool them out. We're about to get up to Let Everest. Go. Sorry about okay. that. I didn't realize the really cool calculations were coming. Okay, again. You be the five, best math teacher. 5,825 minutes of podcast, 97 hours, or just over four days of straight content. At an average pace <laughs> of- Jared, I, I <laughs> no, 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 no. play the next clip. No. At an you average, wanted fire, I'm bringing you fucking fire. At an average pace of six miles an hour that the per that a person <laughs> runs, okay? You an average person run, runs at six miles an hour? Yeah. Seems slow. It's 10 minutes a mile. Mm, you know what I mean? It's like, pick up the pace. Anyway, keep going. Okay. Uh, you could run 582 miles or 25 marathons. Wow, that's okay? crazy. Yeah, but Please what about- play the next clip. Yeah, but what about, I mean, you got to drink water. You got to oh get God, rest. Guys. Okay, no, this is straight. And- 5825 minutes you could drive from New York to LA back to New York and drive then drive to Chicago with 3 hours left. Why not just take a flight? Shut up. Jared? <laughs> Hold on. Okay, this Okay, well then speed through these. He's getting through the I'm, really cool I'm, calculations in trying Indy. to speed through these if you guys wouldn't interrupt. Yeah, if you wouldn't keep interrupting, right Jared? We're on one, each other's side. Okay, in a commercial jet, <laughs> you could fly around the circumference of the earth twice and still have podcast left over how is that not cool anyway that's really you would cool. have seven hours of podcast anyway here's the best calculation <laughs> okay i'm glad this is the peak of calculation this, this is this let is, them know say with your chest okay if we're accounting like you brought yeah. up with the marathon if we're accounting for being awake for 16 hours and sleeping for eight right so in those eight you're not listening to the podcast you could travel to the moon and back and finish the po all of the episodes before you uh, just before you land in the water. You could travel to the moon and back and still ha like have podcasts left. That's sick. Do you want to play the next clip? I suck it. What the hell? How is that? I'm on board. Just not of the ship you want to go to the moon in. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Well, this is come. Th this is. If, if you give me one more, you promised that was the last calculation. I that, fought for you, the, buddy. It's the last calculation. I have one more fact. Oh, <laughs> oh no! The day this this is a very momentous day for us, right? Hundredth episode. I'll be surprised if Jared doesn't cry. The day what? I'll be surprised if, if Jared doesn't cry in this episode. Yeah, I'm not crying. Um, <laughs> <laughs> also, on this day in history, the Brooklyn Bridge opened up in 1883. That's kind of cool. Jared, play the next clip. Dude. I literally beg of you. And my surgery is on May 13th, uh, Friday, Friday the, the 13th. 13th. So if you guys don't think I'm dying from <sighs> anesthesia, you can. Oh, no, Wait. don't say yeah, that. Don't. <laughs> oh, Mr. Superstition. Now you believe it, don't you? Oh, Welcome to Zach's last podcast. No, that's going to make me really sad. Whatever. Can you imagine if it is, though? Like That's going to be so Wait, dark. no, no. I can't say I'm going to die from anesthesia because Chad Lavender is my doctor, and he's taking care of me because he's the best doctor in the world, and we actually might have a little well, a little insert from Chad Lavender later. Stay tuned. Oh, really? Stay tuned. We're going to go to West Virginia, interview him, and then put it in this podcast. I didn't know we're interviewing him. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it'd be fun. That's really cool. I have about 14 clips to choose from. I've named them all vaguely... Uh, ambiguous names so that you guys might not be able to guess exactly what the clip is going to be. Um, so I'm going to read through them and just stop me when one gets. We're not going to play all of them. Oh uh, no. Okay. You know what? We'll just go in order. I'll, <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you what it's called. This one's called End Zone Friend Zone. I'm excited. Why do you think you get friend zoned? Um, I think it's because uh, I think it's because the Lord is protecting me <laughs> from <laughs> what. <laughs> No, I think it's because from a broken heart. No, I just think it's like you don't have, you don't have any inkling. No, I I don't. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Indy, can you give me some flirting tips? Okay. Like, how um, do you know like when a guy? What? How do you know it's end zone? Friend zone. Friend zone. Okay. End zone. 
friend zone. Yeah, which one? Okay, uh, start asking me some questions. Like, okay, you guys, this is I, the first so date. This is, ask me a question. First date. Yes. Yeah, just like pretend you never met her. Don't get nervous. <laughs> get nervous. So where are you from? I'm actually from Australia. I was born and raised there. Oh, um, I've seen a crocodile Dundee. <laughs> <laughs> Reel it in, John. <laughs> no, this is what you should say. Wow, I've heard the people there are super, super nice. I mean, clearly. Oh, okay. That's I never would have nice. said that. <laughs> but okay, like, okay, let me try again. Let me try again. Where are you from? I'm actually from Australia. <laughs> John. Um, so did you get? Did you guys um, slam chickens after that? No, we did not. Did we slam but we did chicken? go see a musical. Oh, yeah, so you it's guys, getting pretty serious. Yeah, super. I I just thought that was, that was so funny. His silence is so loud Ugh. in that clip. Um, went from one of our most beloved guests to one of the most uh, polarizing. Polarizing. That's a great word don't for say it. Say that. No, he no, knows. No, the he people read, love him. He read every comment. He, the people don't like him. No, no, no people, the people like him. People, they misunderstood him for a second. Yeah, people, people like him. He's a good guy. It's he didn't cry here. Okay. Did he really? <laughs> we gotta move on. This one is called "How the Turntables." <laughs> I know what this is. Got a new tattoo today. Oh, oh hell! God. God, I'm getting a new one tomorrow too. What are you Dude, getting tomorrow? She got new tattoos today. What'd you My get? Thumb. On what on your thumbs, like that right there. Um, I she told she said she's not going to get one today. She's just going with a friend, and then showed up with worth it on her two thumbs in in colored pencil. <laughs> oh my it god! Look at those nails. Got a new tattoo. Speaking of tattoos, <laughs> oh, Jared got a drunk Stupid. tattoo. I did get a drunk tattoo. That's the it's so. I got a little smiley that's face. That's the dumbest my, thing ever. I can't. Oh, is it? Is it? Is worth it? Huh? <laughs> We is just, it the dumbest tattoo? We fucking discussed this, okay? We've discussed- are, your, are your thumbs sponsored by Crayola? <laughs> I don't want to fucking hear it. He did get you there. It's not a good yeah. tattoo. Yeah. You should have thought that. I'm going to get it removed. It's okay. <laughs> if she doesn't get it removed. <laughs> no. Yeah. Don't worry. They'll fade. I just, I just thought that was funny because she- <laughs> At the end of that, you go, it does honestly mean a lot to me. And then the next clip, I'm getting them removed. <laughs> that's so that that's why I called it how the turntables. Yeah. I mean, I had terrible nails, a terrible tattoo. I mean, you were terrible attitude going through it. I think I was really going through it. That was like I was really going through it then. You said you were still in your like dark eye makeup dark emo phase. phase. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was a rough phase. Yeah. That was tough. But uh, OK, this next one is called iconic. I even forget what this one is. Zach, what did your tennis oh. grunt sound like? Uh, this is iconic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was either that or, oh my God, daddy. So those are my two grunts. Um, I got a lot of looks from the stands. I could see if Zach like stuck with it and ended up at like Wimbledon or something. Yeah, I'm just like, Spank me like you own me. And everybody's just like, yo, whoa, what is this guy doing? You know, I see why my dad doesn't want to hang out too much. <laughs> if, I, if this was my son, no chance. That was the same um, episode where I said, you play tennis, Zach. Tennis is stupid. And then. And then now you're like learning. You've taken lessons. A lot of lessons. A lot of lessons. It's really fun. Tennis is so much fun. Who would have thought? It's a great sport. Great exercise. Good skill set. People are great. Also. The, the players are very attractive. I mean, <laughs> like. Also, shout out uh, the Fan Dropouts podcast account. Um, that's where like 99. The oh, hell, the one no. fell. That's like where 99% of these clips are from just because it was so much easier to pull from them than go through all of our episodes. Uh, I want to do that, that the job thing. Okay, yeah. let's do the job thing. Okay, so I watched this TikTok. I don't remember who it was, but it was someone else's podcast. So if you know who it is, I forgot to like it. Um, send us, put comment below. Um, okay, so basically what we're going to do is, Indiana, we're going to interview for a job interview me uh no 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 uh, the indiana over sitting behind this desk <laughs> oh, okay. okay indiana we're gonna interview for your job for a job but you don't know what the job is you just have to respond in however you're gonna answer and the funniness is gonna come from the job the that, title yeah okay and like you cover your ears for a second Love. the job is a prostitute nice thanks indy we're back did you hear that okay i couldn't hear okay, okay perfect i've never really done a job interview well you're about to 
Like I, I've done auditions and stuff, but like not like not a for traditional a traditional job okay. interview. Like so, so we're both interviewing you for this job. Hey, hello, hi. What is your name? Hi, um, my name's Indiana Masara. Great, great. Yeah. And how nice to meet you? How nice did you, you hear about this position? Um, Reddit? No, sorry. Uh, Reddit. No, I saw LinkedIn. 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 You okay. saw this on your on a, it was a job description on a LinkedIn. That's yeah, on a LinkedIn. That's interesting. Interesting. Um, okay. Did, okay. Well, let me write that down. Okay. Um, now, quick question: Why do you want to work at this company? Um, I think your values are incredible. Honestly, mm -hmm. yeah, I think that what you guys do for um, the community and for um, <laughs> people in general is really admirable. Very admirable. Um, you know, I think I could add a lot of value to this company. Oh, can okay. you expand on that? What are your some of your um, assets? My assets? Yeah. Um, Emphasis. My, my assets? Yes. Like um, skill sets, you know. Okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, well, didn't get the job. If no, it's something I, else, no, but. I, no, I know. I was just trying to, you said emphasize on, anyway, never mind. Um, I'm a great cook. Okay. Um, okay. You know. And how do you think that'll come? Just, I'm, I'm giving you my that's, skill that's sets. Great, that's great to do during someone that's interviewing you for a job. <laughs> I'm your potential boss, but, or I partner. work too hard. I work way too hard. Um, yeah. you can never stop me from working. Yeah. Would yeah. you say you're a perfectionist? Like you always finish the job. I always finish the job. Okay. No matter what is going on, no matter rain, hail, sh whatever it is you need me to do, I'm there to do it. And if you, for some reason, didn't finish the job, what would, what would your reaction be? I mean, that wouldn't happen. I would always finish the job. So, um, but yeah, my, my assets, I work really hard. Um, I've got a nice voice. Um, and I, I think I provide a lot of professionalism, you know, I, I'm great at giving advice and, and running a team per se, letting oh, people running know, a team. Very nice. letting Good people training. know where and uh, where they need to be and what they need to be doing. Okay. That, that would be great for, um, our group sessions. Yeah, definitely. That, Am that I is... interviewing to be a porn star? No. Oh. oh, thank God. Okay. No, that's <laughs> weird. Uh, weird <laughs> question to ask. Sorry in, about in that. Interview. Yeah, I don't um, know. You would think you'd know what you're interviewing for. You'd be a little bit more professional. What um, would you say is your biggest weakness? Well, my biggest weakness? That. I devote too much of my time to the job. Okay, give me a real weakness. I've got a bit of a sugar tooth. I do. I love chocolate. So you, <laughs> you love chocolate. And what? Any other flavors? Vanilla. Okay. Nice. Anything else? Um, Just those two mainly? Oh, I, I like uh, junk food too. I, I got Do you discriminate against any flavors? No. Asian food, Mexican food. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Perfect. All right. Yeah. If you had to pick one of those as your absolute favorite, though, which one would it be? Between Asian and Mexican? Yeah. Asian food. And why is that? I mean, it's so good. Yeah? It's, okay. I mean. Good to know, because we, we, we like to bring in lunch, you know, for our employees. Oh, you that's know? amazing. So that's super nice We just nice like to know everybody's I'm preferences. Italian. I'm Italian myself. Okay. So you, you know, know your way around a noodle. Oh, are you kidding? Of course I do. What? It, it's what? Like we're a family. Me and noodles. Me and me and pasta. Family. Have you ever um, done a job like this with your family? Yeah, all the time. They're they're actually the ones that taught me how to do it. Really? Yeah. How? Um, oh, that's my handy. dad and my and my mom and uh, my brother. It's a family run business, but I wanted to expand myself and. And you, sometimes you guys work together. Often we work together. Ah. I love to hear that. That's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we often work together. Uh, yeah. My mom and dad taught me everything I know. That's good to know. Um, now, where do you see yourself in five years? At the head of the company. Head of the company. Giving head, head of the, of the company. company. Huh? Sorry? What? Head of the company. Giving head yeah. of the company. What? <laughs> what? Um, oh, you're interviewing for a prostitute. I know it! <laughs> so I'm glad, you, <gasps> I'm glad you and your family work together on a lot of... Often. Often. Where'd you say you were from again? Yeah, I do this often. <laughs> it wouldn't happen to be from like the southern regions, would my it? My brother's my pimp, so. No, no, no. You said you all, you guys all work together in a a lot of group sessions. Yeah. You're really good at that. And and I you like flavor. And then you said you like chocolate flavor. <laughs> Asians. You did especially. say you prefer Asians over Mexicans. So if you want, <laughs> you did say that. So if you want to clear that up, if you that's still your stance, it's completely fine. It's just. Kind of alienating a group of people. That's really but funny. Well, that was that game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, put up the next stupid clip. This one is called Lotto Love. All right, would you rather, rather find true love today or win the lottery? True love lottery. right now. Give it to me. Lottery. True love. I would say true love. Too. <laughs> 110%. Money. How much is the lottery for? It was six, six bucks. bucks. <laughs> you lost out on true love for six bucks. You just bought a happy meal. 
And it wasn't even an Iron Man toy. <laughs> <laughs> you still feel the same way? Yeah. Really? True oh, yeah, love? for sure. Are you kidding me? Even if you didn't know how much money it was worth. But what would you do with the lottery money? Spend it. Yeah, but on Invest what? It. But at the end of the day, then you just have a house and a dog, but you don't, you'll never have true love. It's not true. No, it's it not is saying true. that I can't. It is saying it. that. That's. It's not saying that. Read I will, between the lines here. It, it's not saying that I will never find true love. But that's love. what it's we're just saying. Like right then and there, I won't find it. But that's it's also fine. what we're saying, though. But you didn't say that back then. But we're saying that now. Yeah. But that's but not how that works. Well, we're asking a different question then. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like pulling teeth. Well, how much is the lottery for? Six, Six bucks. bucks. <laughs> you don't know. That's the thing. You don't know. It's just the lottery, right? Because you can play the lottery and you uh, can I still technically you win. Well, I guess you lost out because yeah, it was a billion out. this time. <laughs> it's twenty trillion dollars. Well then. And Get Idaho. Money. And what? Idaho, the entire state. <laughs> Get the Never entire have to pay state. for a potato again. Know how much you love French fries. But Is that off the where table. potatoes? Idaho potatoes, yeah. Is that like where the U.S. gets most of their potatoes? For yeah. the world. Oh, that's the only place it grows in the world. Well, I know that's not true. It is true. That's not true. Idaho potatoes, which are used at every single restaurant, that's the only place it grows in the world. Maybe in the United States, but they not. Do, potatoes cannot grow outside of the United States. That's one of our main exports. Are you that- kidding me? Zach, my, my grandfather literally grows potatoes. Okay, they're probably red ones that you can't use for your french fries then. Incorrect. Well, I don't believe you. Okay. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I wonder I if, was, I was wondering if I can, Jared's even, Jared was even, passion for it was convincing, so convincing me. I was just like. Honestly, if my grandfather didn't grow potatoes, I might be convinced. Uh, no, J- Jared's I, like, yeah, wow, I did not wow. know this. <laughs> I started thinking, I was like, no, 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 my, my family's definitely growing potatoes before. <laughs> I was like, but then I was thinking, I was like, or were they tomatoes? But Zach is using his, his serious voice. So <laughs> yeah, when you get all confident, because you've like psychologically trained me when you get confident like that to never go against you. Yeah, no, That's called Zach does the same thing to me. He's like, what do I say when I'm confident, huh? What do I say? And I'm like, when it could be like the most, I, I know this thing, like the back of my hand and he could be like, yeah, it could it could he be gets, something as simple as two plus two. And he goes, "What is that?" And you go four. He's like, "No, it's five. And then if he comes at you with that confidence, confidence you're like, well, "He could tell me that the tattoo five. on my back says something different, and I probably <laughs> believe him." Well, so. let's just hope I never use it for future manipulations with um, in a power struggle. Possibly, I know, right? Cut to an article, and this is the video that they use. <laughs> yeah, he talked about in the past. This is how he's going to exploit women. <laughs> Sorry guys, if that if I become a monster in the future, I want to. Oh, can we do future apologies? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, <laughs> in case anything, uh, any of these happen, we want to apologize. As uh, anything, you want to apologize for? Probably for like being a bitch. Okay, good. Yeah. I'm gonna go kidnap and murder. Um, slitting people's throats at midnight. Jer- I'm gonna go with insider trading. Okay. What? I'm gonna go with genocide. Indy. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Cheating on a test or something? Or- yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go with um, bombs at the local pool. Whoa! Jared? Oh, that's very similar to mine. I was gonna go with endangering a minor. Jared, <laughs> Jared might, might be already doing that with that no. smile. These we're all being funny on this side, man. I just meant like leaving a kid in a car or something. That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the kid, though. Have you been around some bad kids? Well, could, you, could you imagine? No, if a, no well, wait, wait. Listen. Could you imagine if a Facebook mom group listened to this podcast? They're like, I can't believe they're joking about it. A kid's in a hot car. They could pass out. Well, they could pass out. Heavens, heavens. They all sound like Martha Stewart. I'm taking the dog. No, I was thinking of. Uh, I just saw this like thing. This like tweet or whatever and it was of this article where this I like thought you'd appreciate that minor joke i just this, had this guy like stole a car he's like, this is all caught on camera he stole a car drove away drove back dr- dropped off the kid that was left in the car That's and then guy. took the car that was again. nice and somebody like they were making this big deal they were just like man returns child or whatever and someone quote tweeted it and they were like he's more responsible than the asshole that left the kid in the car true <laughs> Do you i think, think jerry looks like the personification of a hiccup <laughs> Oh my god. That's so mean. No. How everybody hates hiccups. Who I likes I love hiccups. How do you like hiccups? Handsome's hiccups are adorable. Man, they are pretty cute. I'll give her that. <laughs> Not that I was going, but I guess. Actually, I have a clip that relates very closely to what you just said. Go so ahead. Here we go. This one's called pasta salad. Pasta. You are not the pasta salad. You are the buttered the... noodle. Better watch what you say wisely here. <laughs> broccoli. Or it's going to end. And some it's a compliment. Brussels sprouts. Broccoli. Hmm. Brussels sprouts. I think you are the buttered noodle. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, you got guys, no sauce, baby. Hey. Dropouts has been <gasps> sick. It's been nice knowing you. <laughs> I, Jared. I hate Bye, both Jared. of these people. Whoa! No, Unexpected. Say, you're like, you called me the pasta you know salad are? of people. Actually, do you know what you are? <laughs> what? Of the butter noodle, <laughs> the most bland, flavorless thing ever. Hey, no, thanks. I think that you are the seafood carbonara. The seafood carbonara. That's a lie. What in the hell does what? that mean? The, if, please, some people like, like you. What kind of seafood is it? Seafood is like you always. Is it like shrimp carbonara? It's like shrimp, a little bit of mussels, a little bit of like squid, a little the, bit of. These mussels? <laughs> no, it just reminds me because it's like, it's comforting because I love seafood carbonara. What I'm the really hell good. are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Butter noodle is closer. You think I'm a butter Jared, noodle? Jared, it's a compliment. How is it a compliment? Because kids love it and you love kids. <laughs> exactly. Come on, man. The minor joke. We're back at it. I didn't think that would turn so fast on me. It will. The butter noodle is a staple. In what? A lot of people's lives. When's the last time it's you had good, butter noodles? It's reliable. You're, you're like pork grinds. <laughs> I love pork rinds. No, because so. you're good at the beginning and then eventually it just hurts. <laughs> You know what I mean? Uh -huh. I mean, that was an accurate description. He's not Jared, a butter noodle. I No, you're not. Zach, I think you are. It's a slump. What's Zach be? <laughs> Bald eagle flying through freedom? I don't know. <laughs> some, Shut up. No, similar. like, what would he be? It's something like. Zach's like the buffalo dip of people. Chi like the chicken buffalo dip because it's, it's spicy and it kind of hurts sometimes. But, but you know, you love it and it's addictive and you keep going back for more. I was thinking something on the, but also on the healthier side because it's like good for you too. Like he's good. He's good. He is for good you. for you too. Yeah. Do you, yeah. so like maybe, I, the, dude, the I know. No, 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 no. You both that. listen to me right now. I hate what, I hate this BS that you're doing right now. You're a good person. No, no, no. Shut the hell up. Listen to this. You shut the hell up too, squirrel boy. <laughs> I, make fun of you two on this podcast. I, I rib at you guys and I expect a rib back. And I know you guys are manipulating the audience against me because off camera, we're all, bah, 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 you're this, no, you're this. And we're all laughing. And then on the podcast, I'm ripping everybody apart. And then you guys, I know you guys are collaborating on this because it's an evil genius plan that is so smart. I can't even believe you guys came up with it. You can it. tell he wasn't loved enough as a child. <laughs> you, guys, you guys are coming up with this plan of Hey, we'll be so nice to him that everyone turns on him because he's being mean to us. Can Everybody I be loves, loves you. you. No, what are you no, no, no. About? That's why you guys have started this plan. It used to be, oh, Indy, haha, -ha, you have fake eyebrows. And you'd be like, haha, -ha, Zach, you got a little wiener <laughs> or, 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 or something like that. And I'd be like, Jared, you look like the personification of a hiccup. And you'd be like, Zach, you're dumb. Just highbrow stuff, you know? Shout out you. Listen. <laughs> and then all that stuff used to happen. And now I can see the tides well, turning. Okay. In the last 100 episodes, I would say that you've completely changed my life for the- Oh, here it goes. I know what you're doing. Here it goes. Keep going. Okay. I think that you- Here, here it comes, Zach and Jared. I think you two have completely changed my life for the better in the last 100 episodes. And looking back How? Old, because you saved my life in no. so many ways. Stop. I didn't do shit. Jared you know, was this there because he had to be. <laughs> maybe. He didn't want to spend the gas and going somewhere else. Maybe. <laughs> also, maybe. Yeah, it was just a carpool with Zach. He's like, where are we going? The girl that breaks down all the time again? I'm like, dude, have to. <laughs> Sounds fun. I got nothing else to do. I saw Indiana sitting on her floor, crying Ooh. all night long. Ooh, Zach, you should get in the country. And I thought to myself, hey, sweet girl, pick yourself up and come to prom. Prom? Prom? Because this life's gonna be a party now that you're hanging out with me. Ooh. Life's gonna be a lot better. I hope that you can see. So take my arm and take Jared's too. He's just here because he doesn't have anything else to do. We what don't rhyme do and do. So come in my car and ride off in the sunset and be part of my crew. <gasps> oh, very good. Ah, uh, that was so good. Whatever. <laughs> no, but like I, no, but it is true. Like I'm I mean, I was a hellion of a human being when you guys met. Would you me. say you're in debt to us? No. You wouldn't say what? What? You just no. said we saved your life. You did, but I've done a lot for you too as well. I was literally about to ask for a thousand dollars Venmo for both of us. <laughs> and she, I was literally she's like, Yeah, I feel like my life's in debt. I was like, prove it with a thousand dollar Venmo. But you got out of it. Good job. I feel like I've done a lot for you too as well. Jared. <laughs> <laughs> No, you have. Trust me. That job description was true. I love cheap too. I love this. We keep naturally going into like the next little clip. Really? 
This one is Great. very similar to the conversation we just had. Are I think I five? speak both for Jared and I when I say we are glad that you are better now. There you go. Oh, there we go. You Thanks, are such guys. a poet with words. You know, oh my God. Anyway, I was better my story. That's this bad. is your hospital. Oh, we're glad you're out. Let's give her some, come on, Jared, say something about it like that. Yeah, we're so thrilled uh, uh, that you're feeling that better. You're feeling better. Do you guys think you're going to get rid of me? No. No. Good call on the no. <laughs> at any point, hey, one, two, three. No. At, 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 any point, <laughs> at any point, did someone have a little bit of a smirk because it was quieter around here? Dude, <laughs> at one point, I, uh, I just, <laughs> that was good call on the no. Ready? One, two, three. No. no. <laughs> I'm so glad this is our last episode. It's not our last episode. You Zach. keep saying that, man, but why are the balloons here? Because we're celebrating. It was nice though, guys. I got sick a lot that year, especially that time I did have to dip out for uh for the four days in hospital. Left your tampon then- in for three weeks, got to- toxation poisoning. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants to talk about that. That didn't happen. My body was shutting down from stress, but I hear you. What were you stressed about? Was it you though the one that sometimes says that you get on all fours when and naked in your room and do something with your butt? What the <laughs> hell are you talking about? Yeah, I think I remember you saying something like you used to, after a shower, you'd get on all fours naked in your room and <laughs> create like a vacuum with your butt or something. <laughs> That was Zach. And I, didn't that do, I didn't do that. That was you. That was you. I've no, never you vacuumed my butt. No. I've done a lot of things with my butt, but never no, vacuumed it. You would, yeah, you would like make farts or something. That was definitely you. That no, wasn't I, me. I, I, think I was don't you. like farts, so I know it's not me. I think but that as was a, you. That wasn't me. I, I know that was. was re- I thought you were doing it like recently. Like, uh, no. Oh. Then okay. First off, if she's coming at you with some some booty heat, no, don't send it my way like a uh, missile. Oh, you know no. I'm not doing booty stuff out of shower. I'm not saying this was recent. You were I'm, way more I'm likely saying to. Do- you've done it before. I think there's a clip of it on the podcast. I'm saying that I'm like 99 percent sure that's Zach's story. I've never almost, gotten on all fours and sucked my booty out like a vacuum. Like, no, didn't you say you used to do something weird with your butt after a shower? No. That was like, I'm sorry, I'm calling you out right now. But it's so... It's, I'm it's Annie that says it. She's like... Uh, was I'm, it me that said it? I don't know. Maybe I'm sorry. you do something. No, I Do you never. do a vacuum butt thing? No. All right. Well, weird sorry left turn that. there. I enjoyed the weird left turn, Thanks. but I didn't think it would be vacuum butt stuff. No, but like, remember you said that you used to get on a You keep saying <laughs> me when I'm telling you I'm I, no, 99% you, sure that's Zach's story. I showed us at some point. The 1% you like think this. you might have done butt stuff, though. <laughs> it was something like this. Wait, get naked so we can see? What? What kind of calisthenics do you think I'm doing after I get out of the I shower? I, I, I'm almost... I, something about releasing gas. <laughs> I'm so serious right now. Let's go to the next clip, huh? Okay. Sorry uh, about that. I'm sorry. Dude. Maybe I, maybe it's me. <laughs> <laughs> this one this one's called spit roast. Oh. Would you guys ever eat human flesh? No. no. No, Jared. I mean, if I'm on a deserted okay, us three deserted island, like we've got no food. You're telling me we're not chomping down an old Bailey over there to survive? What the hell? You've got the most Zach. Oh, we had Willie. Oh. What? You wanna eat her? Who's the first to go? I don't wanna die. Who's the first to go? <laughs> <laughs> You and be you. Wow, so you'd let him eat me? How do you mean? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, like if 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 oh, she didn't like catch the joke, eat you. Like we're all starving. Dude, but- imagine just like <laughs> just turning Indy on a fire. <laughs> Don't be so fucking gruesome. You just said you wanted us to eat you. <laughs> I like that. I prefer piece to be cooked. Piece. I get it, but like don't just like what do you mean? Cook me piece by piece. Dude, I do not have a hatchet. Yeah, seriously, we'd have to cut I you I have up. one rod. I'm sticking it while you're doing your calisthenics butt stuff. I'm sticking it up there, <laughs> coming out of your mouth, and I'm turning it over a fire, and then I'm going to eat you. God, that's terrifying to think. You want top lips or bottom, Jared? Oh, um, <laughs> top, top or yeah. bottom? <laughs> I thought you were meaning like left or right. That, that would be... <laughs> Left, Left or, or right. right. Yeah, that's why I was like, what do you mean top or bottom? Which part of me do you think would be the yummiest to eat? Your p- Damn, that's aggressive. <laughs> that was so I was fast thinking my too. booty. That's no, it was too much fat. Too much fat. Oh. Yeah, we, I was literally, I was actually thinking about, so I was like, definitely thigh. Yeah, yeah thighs? I, was, I was thinking thigh. Because it's got like a good amount of fat and muscle where maybe it's almost calf. M- yeah, maybe calf. Yeah, calf's probably pretty good, but it's. It'd probably be a pretty good marbling of oh, like, yeah. a, like a nice ribeye. Mm-hmm. That'd be a great marbling. Oh, man. Oh, man. Amanda just like take, just taking her. What? Oh, what if we get the doctor? Well, 
pass her out with anesthesia. We'll cut off. We won't kill you. We'll take you leg from the hip and the knee, and then we'll attach what's under the knee back up to your hip, and we'll just take <laughs> the thigh part, and then we'll uh, we'll have it for for dinner. And my granny's coming to town. Yeah, she loves Australian food. So <laughs> <laughs> this one's a little bit longer. Um, it's just called us being dumb. I hear yeah. what you were about to say about pads. I yeah, feel like I they're the same it. thing. It's the whole sticky side. side. <laughs> <laughs> You, did you think it was a sticker to the hoo hoo? Yes. 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 Everyone, Everyone thought that. thinks that. How do you guys think that? Because no one taught us I differently. Don't understand. Because then it's just like they just made sense. You think because, it just goes? Yeah, yeah. We think you. You just. Oh my god. Because if you stick it to the clothes, perfect. like yeah. Yeah. my thought is that like everything's kind of like what if the clothes move? Yeah. And what then, if the clothes aren't yeah. like making direct? Contact? That's why pads are not great. That's why a and lot I thought of girls, girls don't underwear pads. were like so thin. Like I didn't know it'd have the room for okay, the flaps. Okay. Let me just explain this to you real quick. Those underwear is not. Really underwear. Men can lactate. We found that out this week. So that is possible. That still blows my mind. Yeah. How can you guys didn't believe me. Lactate. Whatever. Men can, can lactate. No. Can we? Yes, just... they can. They can. Jared, lactate. I can't do it on command. <laughs> well, then how are we supposed to prove it wrong? I don't know. But Zach said. Zach, you give it a go. Zach was talking about how men can lactate. And I was like, Zach, you're an idiot. There's no way men can I lactate. I could so feel a, a bowl of Cocoa Puffs right now. Puts a whole new That's definition. your favorite cereal. Yuck. I know. And you ruined it. Puts a whole new definition to team <laughs> <laughs> if you take my advice, you'll be a happier person. That's all I got to say. Okay. That's the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing mm -hmm. over and over and expecting different results. So you're calling me insane. I, In the yes. middle of my midlife crisis, you're calling me insane. Not midlife. Is that, you're four is, years you're, old. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What if I live till I'm freaking 30? Do the math. Nope. You're going to try again? So close. Well, I'm like 15. What? what? <laughs> I sure hope not. <laughs> oh my God. All right, over to me, Indy. What do you think about Zaxter, the Zachinator? Uh, keep the compliments flowing, ready to hear them. Anytime. The compliments. Indy. <laughs> Say something nice about me. Make me feel good. New topic. All right, um... sick. <laughs> my thoughts on the whole kid situation switches so much. Because, God, imagine me with kids. <laughs> the worst mother. <laughs> Did you seriously just spill the SpaghettiOs? I Mom, <laughs> I'm two. And I speak pretty well for my age. <laughs> I wish we could just tell girls exactly how we feel without it being weird. I wish we, we had this conversation too. the other day. Because we both have girls we want to say things to. Yeah. And I feel like if we just explained, like, exactly what we we're feeling. Say things to? I feel like if we explain <laughs> exactly what we're feeling in like the poetic way that's actually in like a guy's mind, that yeah. they would l maybe love it. But also I'm so scared that they would hate it and think we were weird. Girls like, don't think it's weird unless it's too soon. Yeah, it's, it's, it's too, too soon. soon. <laughs> Couldn't be sooner, actually. Actually. Okay, so we're in the car wash and <laughs> it's like super rainbowy and stuff. Oh. We're all just sitting there. We're all, we're just, all me, just, just me and Jared sitting there. And he kind of, he turns to me kind of slowly. Like, we haven't talked the whole car wash. He goes, it's a great place for a date. <laughs> and then he turns back. I was like, this is not a date. That was one of my more it, sus sentences. That was, was just like, <laughs> that was the most time in my life I thought you were hitting on me. And then I just like, for some reason, I just wanted to break the silence. <laughs> the you could have just been like, well, you want to kiss right now? And it would have been less awkward. Hey, I watched your yeah. podcast. So my question is, how do you get out of a toxic relationship? I've been in one for four years. It's a toxic relationship. I don't know how to escape it. <laughs> Who the f*** chose these questions, eh? Hey, oh. <laughs> Indy, over to you. Over to Indy on the toxic questions or toxic relationship. How do you get out of it? Indy, anytime now. <laughs> And that is all we have for the podcast, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. How do you get it? I, ah. I didn't really do the work here, did I? What you I do was you find two best friends that do yeah, it for you. They kind of drag you out there on like by your hands and feet. Um, Zach, did you ever say those things to that girl? Oh, the sweet sentiments of how much yeah. I was. And it was too soon then, but is it too soon now? <sighs> yeah, I, I had I had feelings for um, a particular human being back then that were too new to be expressed at the timeline that I was going to express. Did them. you express it? I didn't express it. Um, she found someone better, <sighs> definitely a better human being. So Damn. it is what it is. It is know? what it is. Sometimes it'd be like that. Sometimes it, it do be like that sometimes. What about you, Jared? How is <laughs> <laughs>
That's so fucked up. Wait, just bleep out the name I say. God <laughs> damn. <laughs> anyway, next clip. This is, I think, Indy at her worst. <laughs> oh, he definitely. The, bow, the Bowie shirt with the red hair. What? Ooh. I love that look. Well, just look. Wait till you see how you act. We're not talking the about the looks, looks Indy. The reason this podcast the is great. like here. What do you think? What do you think we're talking about? Time is because of the Montoya. That's twins. true. This is like a, a real life example of the butterfly effect. We right brought here. we brought this happily married couple together. Don't say that because everyone thinks <laughs> we played matchmakers real good. No, because and I don't want those rumors Q, to stop. So cut that out. No. <laughs> cut it out. No. Jared. <laughs> now you have. God. To. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is Calm what I'm down, saying. Harley no, Quinn. People, no, because. <laughs> <laughs> If other key people could speak, that'd be Calm amazing. Calm down, Mr. Whole Milk. Oh, ooh, you got do me. That, do do that, do that. Milk. It's the mm for me. It's, it's the, the psycho sweater. mental breakdown for me. It's the crying over absolutely nothing for me. Oh, That's you, you do that too. I don't want to hear it. I cry over real things. I'm mentally unstable, Jared. Don't push me. All right. Anyway. She's fun. I like. I miss her. That's one of my favorite clips from this podcast. What do you think about her? She's the fucking worst. Why? God, like I want to hit her. Like I literally want to be like, can you shut up? That's what yeah, 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 yeah. Now you don't act like her. That's what she was doing. Dude, she's annoying <laughs> is all I have to say. Annoying. Like I literally want to just smack that up. <laughs> no, but Would you like, hook up with yourself if there's two of you? Would what? you hook up with yourself if there's two of you? <laughs> no. Why? God. She... Not that one. Just like if you cloned yourself now, would you hook up with yourself? Probably not, no. Why? Mm. What do you mean? This would be fun. Like, hey, you know my body. Let's get this thing done. No, Jared. It would feel would like I incest. Would I hook up with that, Indy? No. Would you? Hook <laughs> Wait. Would you? What was Jared. the question? Yeah, you can. No. Would well, you hook up with yourself? Oh, would I hook up with myself? Uh, it's just masturbation at that point. No, that's weird. That's like worse than incest, isn't it? Is um, it? I don't think it's ever been done. You'd be a pioneer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> You make a good point. I mean, if you're making history, you could literally be the first person to go fuck Are you yourself. praising the Lord or are you asking a question? I'm asking a question. Okay. Over to Indy. Can I ask you both something? Oh, here we go. Oh, I'm nervous. And I, I would like the answer to this question, actually. Oh, God. Yes, okay. it's, we know it's six to the underwear. <laughs> why were you still friends with me then? Like, why did you continue that friendship? Oh, simple. We were doing a podcast and uh, you brought the clout. <laughs> Jared, I told you this the other day when we were at dinner with Heath and Mariah um, that we could see glimpses of the indie that you are now. And we knew that you just needed people to push you in the right direction because you didn't necessarily have those people in your life at the moment. So we I were going to be those people. I, I, I have a conscience um, that I knew I would feel guilty for the rest of my life because I knew it would, t it would be hard, but I knew the roadmap to get you out of your bad mental state. And I knew if I just um, was persistent in uh, trying to continue your elevation as a human being that we would eventually succeed. And if I didn't try that, you would probably crumble and, um, and never f feel like a actual fleshed out human being because you've, you'd be so far down a dark tunnel. Oh, is that what you were looking for? Thanks guys. You're welcome. Would I do it again? No. <laughs> would you Learned guys do, would, my you, would you do it again? No. What? No. Jared, we're not doing it again. But like if we if we went back in time and like could Oh yeah, stop if, ourselves. We were, if we no, no, no. If like if we had to do it again now. Like if she got back into the rut. Oh, dude, no. you are gone. <laughs> <laughs> That would be the worst. Do you know how much stress that put on us? <laughs> We've already talked about who we'd replace you with. <laughs> Who'd you replace me Obama. with? Obama. Imagine the views. <laughs> that w I mean, ex leader of the f free world. It'd be Obama and that. Trump on that on that couch every single week. Could you imagine the actual views? Oh, oh my, my god. god! You'd have the world watching. You have both. Let's send an email because then they're not competing at that point, no. right? Donald, and they're, they're just talking about this spot on impression. <laughs> We're just like Obama. Would you hook up with yourself? <laughs> He's like, actually, um, I have a wife. Uh, Michelle. I love her very much. Uh, I love her, uh, Michelle Obama. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can do Trump. I can't do really do Obama, but of course, Ooh. of course, I would hook up with myself. <laughs> I love myself. I love myself. It's like that's pretty good. The first sentence was good. The first like three words were good, and then it took a nosedive. Now, Indy, Anna. With God, I hate that bit. Um. 
when we did this originally, like this like clip style show the first time for our one year. Oh, yeah. You weren't here. You, were you didn't care enough. You were in Chicago. Um, so I want to show you the original um, out of pocket clip that we showed on that podcast. Oh, no. So here we go. Sorry if I wasn't her. in your life, Zach, what would you be doing right now? I don't know. It's working for a baddie of the club. <laughs> Maybe something serious. Probably throwing it back for a real one. <laughs> I really don't know. Definitely something involving my butt. Except I didn't <laughs> maybe it was wreck me. your ass in soccer, Jared. So maybe it was her. Maybe okay, I, I wouldn't say mouth. wreck Rick, your I ass. I did wreck your ass. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, can we rephrase you beat him in soccer, okay? Can we stop phrasing it like that, all right? Because it sounds like oh, something God. else. So I had sleep paralysis. You got to call him out real Sick, quick. Sick, guys. I'm out. Zach, sit down. <laughs> yes, daddy. And I'm back. Why do you have my is, one goal in life is to be a milf. Because all. Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, okay, I we're the I want to be a hot mom. But, like, when, explain what was it like going in buying a plan B? <laughs> Awkward, right? Not that I would know. Why did Cut you that set out. Up this bit? <laughs> My friend had to go. Oh, this is not a bit? No, it's a bit. Of course, it's a bit. I didn't oh. actually buy Jared's never had sex. <laughs> <laughs> His whole life's a bit. I didn't buy Plan dude, B. Dude, his parents so have, dark. His parents had... didn't even have sex to have him. You think he's had sex? <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on, get it together. Oh, I was conceived Jesus. in a doctor's office. That's hilarious. Amen. No, I didn't actually buy Plan B, but I, I did. He did raw dog her in the back of a Kia. Goodness, oh, man. <laughs> Is Indy trying to make someone catch a case right now? I was like, what is she doing? She got more cases than Deal or No Deal. <laughs> no. Okay. He's a boy. I didn't know. I've never seen a genitalia. I'm open to it, though. If you want to show me now, oh. under the table, no one will see except for me. Close your eyes. <laughs> Go ahead. Wow. Nice cock. <laughs> uh, seriously, babe? My mom? Could you imagine Taking a guy? Can you somebody. imagine a guy being like, baby? I'd be like. Where the f up? What about infant? Why do you keep going? <laughs> Just way worse. Yeah. What about little small baby child who's in preschool? Little baby. <laughs> like, little tiny girl who plays with blocks. <laughs> Le little Lego sass. girl. Yeah? You like that? Somebody yeah. edited my face on a porn star. Which porn star? <laughs> you got the link? <laughs> <laughs> hey, how do you like your eggs? Fertilized? Roses are red. Grass is green. Oh, I, uh, I hate this one. When I think of you, I play with my wiener. Ew. Do you think my mom's disappointed in my ass? I think she is. I think, yeah. Mom, these are all jokes, okay? I'm a virgin. <laughs> she stays in my room. Technically, you're not breaking anything. But Zach is, and it's called... Her back. I was about to say her hymen. I could, I could win the Heisman for breaking hymens, though. You know what I mean? I feel like that's different. <laughs> like, if I pulled down a girl's pants and saw a googly <laughs> eyes, <laughs> I'd be like... That would be the funniest thing in the world. I mean, it would. Be, I wouldn't be aroused, but no, I'd be no, like, yeah. "Yo, coochie got personality. <laughs> Yo, coochie got personification. Yo, coochie, Yo, coochie got, got opinions. opinions." If I had prison sex because of you, I'd be so mad. <laughs> I've been thinking about like kidnapping recently, and then like treating them better than normal kidnappers do, but I'm not. <laughs> oh my but god! I, no, I'm not gonna babysit though for money. That's just capitalism. That's disgusting. You've seen my coochie. That means you know I'm mentally disturbed. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Did are you kidding me? I'm bleeding out of my. Vagina! Mm, Pixar didn't happen. <laughs> Either way, I still had sex with my sibling, and that's weird. Yes, but half not your sibling, so that's the silver lining. <laughs> you cannot tell six-year-olds that you're going to drown them. No, he told the grandma he was going to drown the six-year-old. It's the same thing that's assault. That was not on the pool rule list. Dude, this demon <laughs> is sucking your soul sucking out. Sucking your soul out. And okay? twisting it oh, into so something. Shiny. That Glock, Glock, that Ghost Ghost <laughs> 9000. But understand, if you guys send in your fashion pics- You're going to cry. You're, you might get made fun of. And that's okay. fine. What should we- Bill's character. Of. What should we call this section or this like- Bullying. <laughs> Somebody looks at me the wrong way, like- <laughs> <laughs> Like I saw some- <laughs> That's going to be a funny cut. That was God, the original. Zach, you're too much. Whatever that's what my dad that, said before you went- <laughs> <laughs> Whatever- that Halloween episode was? That was a hitting episode. We were on one that episode. I got it. Before we leave, do you have that on your thing? Yeah. I'll have to put that on my drive. So that can... is so funny. That's a good one. Wait, uh, that is so funny. Good job, guys. You guys are funny. Zach, you're so funny. Here we go with the compliments again. I, see, I know it's manipulation, so don't pretend. Guys, we got an English bulldog. And if you know anything about me, I've been looking online for an English bulldog and anywhere I can find one for almost my entire life. And when I found the dog that we eventually got handsome, um, I don't know, I felt like the Grinch because my heart grew three sizes that day. And <laughs> I broke down in genuine emotion that was filmed. And yes, um, was. we're gonna cut to a clip. 
Jerry's watching it. <laughs> That's you, Jared. buddy. No. I really like you. What's up, handsome? Your daddy ain't no punk. I want you to know that. I'm crying because, like, I cut onions the other day. So, <laughs> oh, so much smaller. Oh, my I God. So much. I'm such a little B word. I can't, you can't cuss in front of me. It's only like two weeks ago. Sorry, I'm, I'm being like a little crybaby dude. Like, it's we're the boys. No, we're ever. boys. I gotta tighten it up. You're right. I gotta tighten it up. Oh, I can't tighten it up. I cannot tighten it up. <laughs> dude, I have never been in love more in my entire life. And now we've got the little baby boy right here. This is handsome. This oh. is my son. I can't believe how much he's grown just from that video. I know. I know. It's only he's been like, what, a week and a half? Something, two weeks? Well, I guess when this podcast comes out, but. <laughs> he's a little dropouts dog. He's our logo now. He's our mascot. He is everything to me. I would drown both of you <laughs> twice for him. Um, I would see the life leave your eyes for this puppy. And that's anyone else listening as well. If you think I even care about humanity, I would commit so many. You know, I'm wouldn't even be mad at you if it came to that if it came to like me or the dog and i'm just an exhausted mom the amount of shits i've cleaned up just he's today learning i know he's learning but why do they smell so foul because he has personality just and so do foul. he poops foul 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 good boy bite marks i have on me from and he teething. matches my shoes oh, oh it was meant to be it's the perfect start. color combination of my shoes indy i love him with my whole heart and he's a sweet boy aren't you but when i tell you he has a favorite it's dad that's because mom has like the job of like you know all the not fun stuff yeah. i do all the not fun stuff too i know you do all the not i'm fun the trainer stuff, but <laughs> But what he's, do you mean? he's you're training. the trainer. You don't do the rest of the not fun stuff. Yes, I do. I've cleaned up millions of his. Poops. I can tell you, I've cleaned up way more peas and way more poops. That's because you don't take him outside. That's because not true. I do take him outside. Be, no, you, because no. <laughs> because he sleeps over at her place because she has hardwood floors and he would destroy our carpets if he was peeing and pooping. Every oh, he's already trying his best with the limited time. Yeah, seriously. It's okay, buddy. I love you no matter how much your mom hates you. I don't hate him. Do you have the next? Um, yeah, this is really kind of like the last clip. Is this uh, Out of Pocket 2? Out of Pocket 2. Oh, I'm excited about this. You're such a bra girl. You're not like the... I am such a bra girl. We're having this discussion. I was Look like how she's sitting. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, dude. Like, <laughs> I, a lot of jokes are going to say. We were having this conversation. I was like, do you think I'm a bra girl or a girly girl? And both of them just go... Bruh. Half the time, I think you're hung like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> There's something so comforting as a kid putting on a matching set of pajamas when you go to bed. Oh, you guys rich, rich. <laughs> I, had a, I had an old t-shirt from my dad. Only thing I had from him. Wore that with no underwear. Jared and I kissed <laughs> once. It wasn't a big deal. We we madly made out under the moonlight. We're going to need to cut this whole section out. Actually, I don't think so. I think that was pretty funny. Can I, I've got a question for both of you guys. What's the weirdest thing a girl's ever been like? You guys don't have a condom and you guys really want to like do it. What's the weirdest thing you've used or, or considered spot. using? Prayer. You asking. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Prayer. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. The will of oh, God. Trees. Oh, I hate you. All right, go ahead. I, I don't like sitting this close to you because I've got way too many temptations to just punch you in the I'd face. I'd appreciate it if you didn't, but go on. It's, you're going to what, Jared? I'm going to jump what? over this table and fucking body do slam it. you. I did. You want to go? Yeah, I'd be kind of into it. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to sit you've down way too quick. sexually comfortable with the man over there. <laughs> Today, we are here with the man who's been in more holes than Tiger Woods. He's been in more pockets than a wallet, and he has won the Heisman for breaking hymens. What's what? up? <laughs> Harry oh Jowsey. I've never. And I want to reiterate, we met seconds ago, and I apologize for this. <laughs> that is awesome. That was funny. New Tinder bio. You're welcome. Holy sh**. How are you doing today? I'm so much better now. Okay, good. Okay, Larry <laughs> thinks I'm... This is my he favorite. told me... That's my grandpa, by the way. He, he told me <laughs> I look like a painting. Yeah. He told me I look like a painting. I, you know how yes. beautiful that compliment is? Beautiful. Uh -huh. That's such a beautiful compliment. Don't... Do not f*** that up for me. Hey, don't f*** it up for yourself. Stop I hide... I, hi I wear... Would you want to do some finger painting later? I like finger painting. It's fun. God, didn't get the joke. Over to you. <laughs> what? A finger Stop. painting's fun. Yes, but he called you a painting. I said, do you want to do finger painting? Go ahead. <laughs> Bing, bada, boom. It's a small joke among friends. Let's go. Sam, say more words to Jerry. I don't understand the joke. 
Oh my I god! Was making a joke about fingering. Oh. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gross. That's the funny part. I'm not actually gonna finger you. Oh, this is so frustrating. Over to Jared. Why is he crying? Next time, don't cheat on me. And I wouldn't be pissed. And then he had to apologize with mini M&M's and Red Bull because mini M&M's are my favorite candy. My favorite candy mm. is a stripper on 7th Street. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That was... Yay, applause. It's fake applause, but it still feels just as good. Bring your mic back. We have to talk. That's the whole point. Dude, you like to go five fingers deep like a Canes combo. Oh, this is the blurry episode. <laughs> Who goes finger first, Zach? Did you get the sauce? Did you get the extra sauce, Jared? I keep walking around and smacking Zach's ass, and he's yeah. You gotta started. chill out. Now That's, I do it to Jared. Gotta, whoa, well, whoa, we gotta talk to HR. What? <laughs> yeah, dude. Sometimes she latches on and won't let me go. Oh, hold on. <laughs> what? She plays patty cake on my booty cheeks. Why is it all me saying the heinous stuff? Because you're the one that can think of it in 0.5 seconds. That is true. Like before we even finish our sentence. And I no longer play patty cake on Zach's booty cheeks because he got mad at me. So now I do it to Jared. I'm a degenerate. Oh, I, I don't like you playing boot, a patty cake on my booty Yeah, cheeks. but like, I don't take you seriously enough to like take to actually stop doing it. What the hell? <laughs> Sexual harassment. Remind me in two hours to download the episode 12 where I talk about candy. I think that's... Uh, that's, that's episode 100? That's episode 100. Our last one, guys. It's not our last one. If it can be, we can quit at any time. I don't want to. Fine, then I don't want to. Okay, perfect. We're on the same page. Indy? I'm chill with doing this. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Thank you guys, honestly, for 100 episodes. It means more than you know. Um, but this gives us, we all do our separate platforms, um, but this gives us a place to come together as friends and come together with a community that we consider to be you, who are like-minded people that understand we're just here to have a good time. We're your friends in your ears, but we feel like you're actually our friends in real life. We read the comments. We read all the love you give us. I mean, just the support you've given me personally for my knee um, has meant the world to me and I would tear up, but I don't want my makeup to run. Um, <laughs> and honestly, like it's, it's hard to put into words. Like I get giddy just about like, we might not be the biggest podcast in the world, but I, I feel like we have such a tight community, tight knit community of people who really understand us. And we genuinely love you. I hate when influencers say that and people of that nature, when they're like, I love you guys so much. Cause it feels so disingenuine. But when I say that, it's hard to individually um, have love for that many people. We all try our best because we see you guys as individuals as much as we can. And you're not just a number to us. Um, uh, we are better than you, obviously, for <laughs> oh getting 100,000, whatever we in our episode 100. But we appreciate you guys more than than you'll ever know. And you fill, you fill our cold hearts and you make them warm. And thank you. I honestly love you. And I know these two feel the same. Wow. You guys actually got a uh, genuine sentiment out of Zach. So congratulations. This really is episode 100. I thank know. you guys for giving us a place to, to speak our stupid minds and escape once a week for an hour or two. It's incredible. We love you so very much and we'll be here for 100 more. So without further ado, thank you guys so much for joining us this week's episode of dropouts and if you stay till the end dm me your favorite moment of dropouts your favorite episode like what it makes you feel like anything like that hopefully that's not too uh, it, just do that maybe unless you don't want to did that feel this anyway thank feel... you guys so much for joining us for this week's episode of dropouts i'm indiana that's zach justice that's jabra music this is handsome the bulldog and we will see you guys next week for another episode we love you i hope not Bye, my little swag daddies. <laughs> <laughs>